you will have two minutes to respond <coughs> to every point we make. Then okay. it will be our turn to speak. We will speak for as long as yeah. necessary because this is a yeah. Q and A. Just yeah. like your stream, I was respecting your time. It was yeah. it was five of you, uh, and you were all speaking, and I was responding in my little time to that. So yeah. you will have fair time. We will not we will not interject. What we request from you is, brother Ahmed, yes. my brother in humanity, that you need to stick to the topic. The topic today is yes. false Prophecy. prophecies. Oh, yes. yes. So we have raised a question, and yes. if you have a response. Please yes. do put it forward. We have given references that Mirza Ghulam yes. Ahmed Qadiani said yes. that after his advent as the Muhammad. promised Messiah, Muhammad. yeah, uh, he will he will live for um, uh, forty years. So now okay. over to you. Your two minutes start now. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nahmadu wa nusalli ala Rasulillah al-Karim wa ala abdihi al-Masih al-Maud amma ba'd. So as I was mentioning, whenever you guys start your uh, streams with with, uh, with with any allegation or, or property something, what you what you tend to forget is is the fact that you're representing Islam here, and when you're representing Islam, you need to be bring uh, you need to explain from Islam what are the usul with regards to prophecies. This is not a prophecy. The prophecy that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam received was thamanina haulan aw qariba min dalik, that 80 years or thereabout. Here, the Prophet Muhammad has quoted a hadith. And underneath, he says, it appears that the tenure of my mission will extend to 40 years. And it is Allah who knows best. It is Allah who knows best. So we have to conclusively study where else the promised Messiah wasalam, has spoken about his age and what has, he, what, what has he said with regards to it. But before that, the most important thing is, is the usul of prophecies. And it's, it's interesting that Adnan, whenever he starts his, uh, his, his, his stream, he, st he mentions all these verses, but he never discusses the usul from the Quran. You're meant to be representing Islam here. So I think I have to so, sort of teach you today. And I'm going to ask you a few questions. And please re re reply to them as well, as it is also a QA. and a There are two types of prophecies in the Quran known as Vada and Va'id. Vada, Allah the Almighty says in the Holy Quran, Inna Allah la yukhliful miyad. That Allah the Almighty does not go against his vada, his promise. With regards to Va'id, Allah the Almighty states, and it is mentioned in the Holy Quran, it's quoted, وَإِن يَكُ صَادِقًا يُسِبْكُمْ بَعْضُ الَّذِي يَعِدُكُمْ That if this prophet is true, then some of that which he promises you will come true. And I'm going to ask Brother Adnan and Brother uh, Muhammad Intiaz, why Allah the Almighty has used Ba'd here and not Kul? Okay, moving forward. Now, some prophecies regarding promises are meant to be fulfilled in the lifetime of the Prophet. Just as we know, Allah told the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Wallahu ya simu nas. Then there are others where Allah the Almighty told him, Huwalladhi arsala rasoolahu bil huda wa deen al haqqi li yudhira huwa la deen kulli. That Allah the Almighty has sent this messenger of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so that he may cause it to prevail over all religions. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had told us in Sunan Abi Da'ud, Wa yuhliku Allahu fi zamanihi al milala kullaha illa al-Islam. That Allah will perish all religion, all religions except Islam. So I have a simple question and I'm re replying to that is, was this prophecy fulfilled in the lifetime of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu that all of religions, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism that we see in today's world, were they all perished or was there another understanding given by Mufassirin? Okay, moving forward. We also... Uh, your, your, your time is up. Okay, yes. I'll listen to your reply. Okay. Okay, so I'll quickly say what I have to say and then Brother Imtiaz can come in. Okay, when we pose a question about Mirza Ghulab Ahmad Qadiani's uh, 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 to the, the Ahmadis, they have to understand that they cannot come back to us with responses like this, the one you have come with. You start Brother talking Hashim, about... Sorry to interject, uh, can, wait, can wait. you see the time of yeah. two minutes? Two no, minutes, please. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's not two minutes from our side. No, no. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, okay. We, this is our stream and we okay. are answering questions. All, all Ahmadis are welcome. All, including yourself. All Brother, Ahmadis no, are did welcome. Did we give you two minutes? But, did we give you okay. two minutes? Just asking. Okay. Can you, can you mute? See, Ahmad, you're already you? interjecting, man. I'm yeah. asking. Can you mute Ahmad? After he yeah. finishes, yeah. you can do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Brother, Brother Hashim, mute him. Mute him. No, mute it's him. okay. He'll, he'll be respectful. Go on, Ahmed. No, no, uh, just, mute him. Just be respectful second. because the oh, thing fine. is, yeah. Bro you, you're Brother breaking Hashim. the flow that uh, Brother Plan yeah. is already yeah. Yeah. Brother Hashim, Bro Brother Hashim, mute him. Please. Okay, he's, he's muted yes. now. Go. Okay. Himself. Yeah. Mute him, please. Now, the reason why I, I asked Brother Hashim to mute him is the other day I attended the Ahmadi stream. 
Okay, I was being challenged repeatedly on Twitter and elsewhere to come and face five Ahmadis alone. I was being called a coward, I was being called, uh, I mean, people were posting memes of people running away, things like that, that Adnan Rashid is running away, Adnan Rashid. So I was in my bed and I received messages that you better wake up because you are a coward. <laughs> so I woke up and I asked myself, this question, am I, a, am I a coward? So I went on the stream and I saw a very nice, rosy looking gentleman, nicely dressed, talking beautifully, very nicely to their audience. And I was pleasantly surprised that are these the same people who came to our stream the other day, shouting, screaming, interjecting, saying all sorts of things and not allowing us to finish our sentences. I mean, it turned into a war zone the other day, the stream. Right? Hashim, you can remember that, right? Yeah. So, so I was surprised. I was actually thinking, are these the same people? Uh, Razi and Brother Ahmed there. Now, you come to our stream and the behavior changes completely, as you've already shown. Okay? Please try to understand that we want to have a very decent conversation. The purpose of the stream is to educate people, not confuse people. So we want straight answers. In your own time, when you are given the chance to give answers, in your own time, straight answers, no waffling, no beating around the bush, no, no changing the topic, no start indulging in discussions that are not relevant. You talk about a soul, you don't have an soul. You have no a soul. You change a soul as you go along. You change colors like chameleon lizards. Okay, when we pose a question, you start changing the topic, you start raising questions about the Prophet of Islam, you start talking about the Quran, you start raising questions about Hadith. This is what you do. This is the game you play. When you know you cannot defend Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, the game you start playing is change the topic. Start talking about <coughs> Wafat al-Masih. Start talking about Khatam al -Nabuwa. Start talking about da 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 And then what happens? The real question is unanswered. The question is again, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, himself said, if one of my prophecies was to be false, one out of a hundred, one was to be false, then I am a liar. All we have to show today is one false prophecy, one of which we have already shown, and clearly you don't have a response, and you're throwing things to us from the verses of the Quran, and this verse means this, this verse means that, this hadith means this, what about the Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that's not the answer. The answer is Defend Mirza. Defend Mirza. Mirza said, I will live for 40 years after I announce my messiahship. After I am appointed on my messianic mission. Over to you, Brother Intiaz. And then we can go to Ahmed. Inshallah, very quickly, uh, without wasting anybody's time. Uh, basically, in principle, in usul, we agree with this, okay, that it is the ulama, the scholars, they can tell us that what any prophecy means. But the problem here is, in the last stream, Razi said that according to Ahmadiyya, Ghulam Ahmad is Hakam and Adal. They are not going to take hadith as the Wu Muslim take. Rather, if any hadith is confirmed and accepted by uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, they will just take it as an authentic hadith. Now, First of all, it is a prophecy. And secondly, because Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is saying, and he is basically referring to a hadith. Now, which hadith? They have to prove this because Mirza is quoting the hadith, not us. He said that hadith is telling us that when Masih Ma'ud will come, he, his mission will be 40 years. Now, if Brother Ahmad is trying to say that this prophecy did not complete it in its apparent form. That it says 40 years, but Mirza Saab did not complete 40 years. So my first point is, Ahmad has to admit that what is the wording of the prophecy, it was not fulfilled. And after that, if he wants to give it a second meaning, go for it very quickly. You can give it a second meaning. We can discuss that is this second meaning within the scope of the text because the problem is, you cannot just give meaning to a text which cannot be 
substantially from the text itself. So we have no problem. But just two points, okay? Number one, you need to concede if you want to that the prophecy was not fulfilled in its apparent form, number one. After that, give us a very quickly the secondary meaning which you want to give and then prove that meaning from the text. Thank you very much. Okay, Ahmed, you want to come in? Yes, thank you so much. So, yeah. uh, Brother Hashim, there has to be some fairness. I can't just be given two minutes to reply to an one allegation. One second, one second, one second. One, one second. Brother Danan, one you second. have to be honest here. One second. Okay, go on. You said one second, stick to a second. Yeah, listen to him. Come on, Ahmad. Just listen to what yeah. Ahmad and, Adnan has said. Yeah, Adnan, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah to repeat yeah. Brother Muhammad uh, Imtiaz's point, if you yes. are saying now that the apparent meaning of the words is not fulfilled, then you have to admit it, be honest about it, because clearly they're not fulfilled. Mirza did not live for 40 years after his advent as the promised Messiah. This is a historic fact. No one can deny it on this planet. So I'm clarifying this so that the audience follows us. The audience knows where we're going. Okay, okay. thank you. So, so Mirza, you. one second, Ahmed. One second, Ahmed. I'm finishing right now. You will have your two minutes. So yes. Mirza claimed that after my advent as the promised Messiah, I will live for 40 years. Mm -hmm. So if the apparent meaning was not fulfilled, which it was mm -hmm. not because he died before 40 years after mm -hmm. his advent, okay, then what is the meaning? Okay, first Thank you accept, first you admit. You're breaking is up the again. apparent meaning fulfilled? And if it's not, then talk. Go ahead. Over to you. Two minutes. Brother Adhan, you know, the, the, the thing is, whenever I've spoken to you, and I think my time begins, there's a revelation over of the to Prophet Messiah. There, there's a revelation of the Prophet Messiah Islam where he says, Mana amani umina sama. It seems as Allah the Almighty puts something on your tongue that, you know, you, you every time you come, something happens to your stream. It's been like three or four times. So you have to look into that as well. I don't know what is going on. But every time you come with these allegations, something happens to your stream. But let's, let's get back to the point. I mentioned with regards to this reference, the promised Messiah Islam, is quoting a hadith, okay? And he says underneath that Allah, according to the prophecy mentioned, is Allah Oham, Tamanina Hawlan Aw Kariba Min Dalik, which he has quoted numerous places, 80 years or thereabouts. We have your own scholars, Molana Salaam Lamrat Sari, if you want to see it, those who are his opponents. They themselves admitted and accepted that, that the prophecy has been fulfilled. We, and if you want, I will show you on the screen for, 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 for the viewers to see. But the point that I'm, I'm making here, and another beautiful point with regards to Thamanina Hawlan Aw Kariba Min Dalik, is the fact that the promised Messiah, alayhi salatu wasalam, Allah the Almighty informed him about, even about his demise. In 1905, he receives the revelation and Allah tells him, two or three mouthfuls of water has, has, has remained. Three mouthfuls of water has remained. Exact three years later, in 1908, he passes away. Okay, so 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 what you're saying, what you've come up with, you think you're very clever. You've come up with this thing is, but this is not even a prophecy. It is you started off with a prophecy. This is not a prophecy. He's quoting a hadith, and he's deducting a meaning from it. Okay, he's not prophesizing it. There's a different thing. Okay, otherwise I, I can mention mention to you many a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which would go in line with this thinking of yours. But why I'm bringing you back to the usul is because then I'm going to cover that in those usul. Okay, so please, as scholars, first of all, let your listeners understand what are the usul of prophecies. What does Quran say about them? What does a hadith say about them? Because you are claiming to be scholars here, brother Imtiaz. As I said, he's sitting there. You, I know you. You love going to the, you know, uh, to the writings of Prophet Messiah and take bits and pieces from there, like the Jews did. But what I'm telling you to do is explain to us whether the prophecies. Of, 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 of a prophet, right? They are to be fulfilled in its actual word or can there be another understanding? Can you answer that point? That whatever the prophet says, it has to be, it has to be fulfilled word for word. Is that true or is, that sta is this a statement of kufr? This is my, because this is a q and I'm asking you this question, please answer. Brother Ahmed, uh, it's better you complete your time and then we'll talk. Yeah, his okay. time is over. His time is his up. Time, oh, yes. It's already over. Subhanallah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Two okay, minutes. Why? Okay, okay, take take more 30 seconds. Please take it. Take it. 
Okay, okay. So this, this is not how we treated Brother Adnan, though, but it's okay. It's okay. We know how he is. Okay, so I, I, I was saying to him, uh, Brother Adnan, and my simple question is this, and I'm going to repeat this question. Whether the understanding of a prophet with regards to any, because this is not a prophecy, first of all. This is his statement with regards to Wahi. The prophecy or the revelation the Promised Messiah Islam himself re re received was Tamanina Haulan O Kariba Min Dalik. We have his opponents who accepted that the Promised Messiah wasalam, have lived that time. He has completed that time. So this statement, the, the furthest thing you can say is, is, is his misunderstanding. Right? And I can present to you numerous examples from the, from the hadith of the Rasulullah wasalam, where he said something. Right? Where, for instance, let me give you one example. Yeah, your time's up. Just yeah. last statement. I, I, I'll request for 10 seconds, please. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw in, in a vision that Abu Jahl has accepted Islam. Okay? What happened? It was never fulfilled in Abu Jahl. It was fulfilled in Ikrama. So the fulfillment of the prophecy, fulfillment itself explained what the revelation meant. Okay? So when Ikrama accepted uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa when he accepted Islam later on, the prophecy and the understanding became apparent to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the companions. This is just one example. But let's continue this and inshallah people will realize how flawed your usul are with regards to prophecies. And I only asked you one question with regards to wada and wa'id and you don't even know it. You don't mention a single verse from the Quran or a single hadith of the Prophet. So why, how are you representing... Okay, Ahmed, 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 your time's up. Come on. Uh, let Muhammad empty us answer now. Go ahead, Muhammad. So, Bismillah. So, first of all, uh, Brother Ahmed, Alhamdulillah, we know that what's the meaning of Wada and Waid. But, Brother, we need to stick with the topic so that we don't want to waste people's time because in the last stream, this is what happened. There were many tangents and the actual topic was lost. So, we want to stick with the topic. Inshallah, if you want to have a discussion on the Ufulu Tafsir, Inshallah, we can do it separately. Okay? Now, first of all, because Brother Ahmed is mentioning many times Samani Nahawla, I just want to explain, if people don't know, he is referring that the age of Ghulam Ahmad was predicted according to Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. It's going to be 80 years or, or close to it. No problem, inshallah. We'll discuss their prophecy as well. No problem at all. We are simply saying, and by the way, I don't know if you made any new point in the, in, in the last five minutes because I already said, I already said that we already accept the usul that if you want to give a text a secondary meaning, we accept this, uh, this usul, okay? But the, the only thing we need to stick with is that the text needs to permit this. It has to be within the scope of interpretation of the text, okay? We cannot give a meaning to a text which cannot be inferred from the text itself, number one, okay? And number two, my brother, is that uh, please, I'm asking you a second time, if you want to give it a secondary meaning, go for it. But but please, first you need to accept that the apparent meaning is not fulfilled. Okay, you, you accept this, you concede this, then inshallah give a secondary meaning, we can discuss that. Ahmad, that the, the primary meaning is not fulfilled. Ahmed, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm listening. I just want to yeah, add continue. one point, brother. I should just one point to add in this one. Yeah, yeah. Yes, go ahead. Okay. The, the point I want to add is this. First, please, please follow the logical order. First, concede that the apparent meaning is not fulfilled. And then we are, you are more than welcome. Give us a secondary meaning. We can discuss that. And my second point is, you are saying again and again, it's not a prophecy. My brother, when something about the future is said, what is it called? Okay. Prophecy. And now in this one, we did not, we are not quoting this hadith because if we will quote the hadith, then as Raji said last time, that for them the usul of hadith are different. We are simply saying that Mirza Sahib in his book has accepted this hadith. He said, according to this hadith, Masih Maud, after coming in this world, and after making the claim, he will live for 40 years. It is something about the future. When something is said about the future, it's called a prophecy. Go ahead, Ahmed. Can I answer here? Yeah. yeah. 
I'm going to, I'm going to, if you're going to just stick to this thing, right, with regards to this, as, as, as I've already explained to you, you can't take a single statement and just say, you know, this is, this is all it is. If the Promised Messiah did not have other revelations and, 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 and prophecies with regards to his end, which was, which was not just about, uh, just about 40 years or so, he spoke how his ending will take place. He specifically mentioned and Allah the Almighty had informed him, even Brahini Ahmadi of Allah, who Yasimuka min al Nas, Allah the Almighty would protect you. All of these things in his lifetime, you are, you are like, you know, the, the disbelievers who go towards Mutashabihat and leave Muhkamat. There are countless prophecies of the promised Messiah Islam that you are intentionally avoiding. As I said, this is not a prophecy. He is saying here, he's quoting a hadith, but underneath he's saying, Thamanina hawlan aw qariba min dhalik. What does it translate to? 80 years or thereabouts. Did the promised Messiah salam, live near the 80 years or thereabouts or not? That's the question I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. He lived near 80 years. The plague took place in India, which killed millions of people. He was in the epicenter where the plague took place. Yet Allah the Almighty killed those 10 million people. But the Messiah was not killed. All of his opponents, your scholars from Ahli Hadith, Rashid Gangohi and all of these people were killed in that those who made prayers against the promised Messiah You're not going to mention that because this is the deceit of the Jews and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that in my ummah will also be will also remember the Jews who would oppose the Messiah and this is this is this exactly what happened and we're seeing it in front of our eyes that the Jews just as they take the aspect of a prophecy from Jesus' Jesus' lifetime and they say it hasn't been fulfilled and they're waiting for thousands of years for him to return Similarly, Muslims, you are waiting for, 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 for Isa alayhi salatu wasalam to descend. And I'm going to say this last thing. The promised Messiah salam, said, in his time, you will die and not see the descent of Christ. Your progeny will die. They will not see, see the descent of Christ. Their progeny, brother, this, this in itself is a prophecy. When Nawab Sadiq Hassan Khan in, 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 in Iqtarab al -Sah and, and, and his son was speaking about that the, that, that the Mahdi should appear in, in, in few years or so, right? And you, you made Adnan many videos about him as well, and I've seen it. What do you say about, you know, all of those things? The point is, brother, you don't have a Messiah. You don't have nothing. You're, you, you have a hypothesis in your hand. And you're basically defending the hypothesis. And you can do that till the day of judgment. I challenge you. You mentioned one. I would, I would mention the, 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 the prophecy about plague, about Lake Haram. You know, about his message reaching the corners of the earth. About him being protected and not being killed. What about, those, what about those prophecies? Why are you not mentioning this? Based on okay. this, based on this criteria, okay. last thing, last thing, last thing. Based on this criterion that you, you You've already said your last thing. You have already no, said based your last thing. Your last, don't interject. You, you, don't interject. Okay. Don't interject. Okay. Don't interject. You, you, no, no, Please you, don't you've interject. already said your last thing. Don't interject. You already... uh, Ahmed, you, you were given two minutes. You always want Is it finished? to go over time. Is it finished? And then you say we are unfair. Is it finished? I'll stop. Is it finished? It's finished, obviously. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go silent. Go ahead, Atnan. Adnan, I can just uh, add yeah, go ahead, make a point. I think Adnan's frozen again. Yeah, so uh, my brother Ahmad, first of all, everybody can see sometimes you're calling us like the Jews, sometimes like the Kuffar. So people should see this. I yeah, never said Kuffar. I never said Kuffar. Okay. Don't, don't, brother, me. brother, people because Rasulullah said Jews. Rasulullah said Jews. He said, okay. just as a shoe resembles you're, the you're, you're interjecting. Can you let him finish, Ahmed? But, he, but he's lying about me, please. Inter yeah, you can, you can make the correction afterwards. You're the one who said to stick to the rules, and you're breaking it every time. Why do, so, you don't do this on your streams. Yeah. Why are you doing it on our streams? Is this some sort of a trick, some sort of a tactic? It doesn't work like that. Please, Ahmed, just respect the decorum, and then we can all have a nice dialogue and something that is productive, inshallah. So I think Brother Adnan's suffering with this uh, internet again, unfortunately. He's in Africa and um, maybe, maybe the inshallah, internet there is something. Like, inshallah, can I just talk now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So Brother Ahmed, uh, no problem. I don't want to waste people's time. People can see that if you said as Jews or not, whatever, let's not go to on that. Okay. If you said, may Allah forgive you. Okay, brother. So what I'm trying to say is, Brother Ahmed, you said that there are other revelations as well which needs to be considered when understanding and interpreting this revelation. Once again, number one, have you conceded or do you have the courage to concede that the apparent meaning of completing 40 years was not fulfilled? 
and after that you are more than welcome we have to be fair and inshallah we will be fair you can give us a secondary meaning we can discuss that secondary meaning no problem at all secondly as you said that there are other revelations as well we need to consider that my question to you please answer the question first directly in your in your time and then you can add something on, on the top of that my question to you is regarding these 40 years of completion of messiah did mirza receive any other revelation on this 40 years thing and if he did please bring it to us because you are trying to say and you are trying to give the impression to the audience that there are other revelations regarding this point that messiah will complete 40 years and we are hiding those other revelation so i am inviting you please bring those other revelations in which mirza corrected or mirza added or he amended the period of 40 years so please you need to bring that now you okay. are talking about the age of the of the messiah not a problem at all we have everything ready be it a lekram big abdullah atam everything is ready but obviously we have to go step by step so just to summarize number 1 you need to concede first that the apparent meaning is not fulfilled then we can discuss the secondary meaning a point yes. number 2 is you are you are saying repeatedly that we are hiding something and and just uh, mentioning few of them no if you if you think and if your claim is that on this subject that messiah will complete 40 years after he will make his claim if we are hiding any of the prophecy of mirza on this topic bring it let me very quickly come in hashim can you hear me yeah i can yeah okay let me let me burst let me burst the bubble the plague bubble okay let me uh, let, let me kill the plague inshallah Meta- metaphorically because our friends here love they love metaphors okay mirza ghulam ahmed qadiani in his book daf al bala page 5 states qadian remained free from the plague because the prophet and messiah of god was residing there is that clear guys yeah hashim is yeah, that clear yeah. mirza ghulam ahmed qadiani in his book daf al bala page 5 states qadian remained free from the plague because the prophet and messiah of god was residing there then in his book haqiqatul wahi page 84 he writes in the days of the plague when qadian was under its attack my son bashir ahmed fell ill i will repeat in the days of the plague when qadian was under its attack my son bashir ahmed fell ill so in one place mirza ghulam ahmed qadiani is saying that qadian his city was protected from plague because the prophet and the messiah of god was in the city talking about himself then in haqiqatul wahi he goes on to admit the plague did in- indeed attack the city of qadian not only that his own son bashir ahmed fell ill there goes your plague house of cards there goes your plague claim or your plague prophecy this is the reality that's that wait yeah yeah Ashim, no, I... wait 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 yeah wait so so this 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 is the kind of person we're dealing with who is not only contradicting himself he doesn't even know what he's saying okay over to you tiaz bhai over to you very okay. quickly inshallah just inshallah just inshallah 30 seconds just want to say very quickly brother ahmed we are not going to discuss about the 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 prophecy of plague okay because this is exactly what happened last time and please we are more than happy to discuss that but after we will finish this first prophecy because i said already prophecy means when something about the future is said and mirza sahib is saying that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself has said now if you will say that this prophecy is not fulfilled then you need to explain to us that according to mirza prophet muhammad sallam said that this will happen and it did not happen that basically mirza sahib is putting a, a, a blame on prophet muhammad sallam as well because he said this is the hadith okay 
and this hadith is and if you will want i'll give you more references this hadith is accepted by mirza sahib so there is we don't need to present the hadith so please point number 1 first you need to concede brother that the primary meaning is not fulfilled after that number 2 the point number 2 is you need to bring those revelations on the subject of 40 years of messiahship which i am hiding or non wise hiding please bring all of those references okay and inshallah after we finish this one we will discuss what you are saying again and again samadina haulan we will discuss the age that this this prophecy about the 80 years of age we have a lot of material on this one we'll discuss that but please let's go in a logical order again lastly i'm saying please concede that the primary meaning is not fulfilled number 1 and number 2 give us those revelation which we are hiding from mirza sahib please okay so we have we are already 1 hour into the stream and i've seen brother mohammed imtiaz repeating the same question over and over again yeah, yeah. for the last 1 hour ahmed you have not conceded whether the apparent meaning of the prophecy has been fulfilled if it yeah. has not please tell us so and if yeah. it has then you if there is a secondary meaning to it like brother mohammed imtia say say this is a secondary meaning it hasn't been fulfilled and this is a secondary meaning otherwise we are just okay. repeating okay. ourselves i will yeah, bring yeah. in the other hamadis we are not going to respond this is That's your last chance because one hour is more than enough i think it's my, it's my last right. chance okay. so yeah. i i made I, and i did not avoid it i did not digress from the topic i mentioned from the very get go that this is not a prophecy you have to explain what a prophecy is this is not a prophecy this is the promised messiah sallallahu alaihi statement where he says samanina haulan aw qariban min dhalik and then he says it appears that the tenure of my mission will extend to 40 years it appears it appears i'm i'm telling you i'm repeating for you so you understand it goes into your brain and it is allah who knows best when we say wallahu alam it is not definite okay so to reply to you in another form i want to say that a prophet can make a mistake in interpreting a prophecy this is not to say this was a mistake because it wasn't even a prophecy first of all he's saying allahu alam but from the quran based on your your criterion right has a nu alayhi salatu wassalam when he was building his 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 folk wa kullama mara alayhi malaa'un min qawmihi sakhiru minhu they laughed at it okay and allah said wa nada nuhu rabbahu fa qala rabbi inna inna bani min ahli wa inna wa'dak alhaq wa anta ahkamu alhaqimin oh allah you told me Oh Allah, you told me you will protect my son. What did Allah say? Qala ya Nuhu, inna hu leisa min ahlik, inna hu amalun ghairu saleh. O Noah, he is surely not of thy family. He is indeed a man of unrighteous conduct. So what I'm trying to say to you, based on the criterion that you're trying to make, it always falls back on your face, Adnan. The point I've answered that I I I haven't digressed from the topic. I've said this is not a prophecy. This is his statement. This is his statement with regards to it. At the end of which he says, "Did did he say I will definitely live for for eighty years?" He didn't say that. He did not say that. He said it appears, and then he says, "Wallahu alam." Okay. Now uh, the second point, but but the moment Imtiaz made that I was saying two, you were two, hiding. Two minutes are over. Two minutes are over. He's waffling. Two minutes are over. Okay. Look, I, over I, to you, Imtiaz. Wait, over, wait, over, over to you, Ahmed, you know this is this is what I wanted to avoid. You know the the repetition. You kept saying it's not a prophecy, but the Muhammad Imtiaz clearly read it in Urdu, which is the book written by Mirza. So I don't understand when you say instead of using the term prophecy, you're using saying this is his statement. Well, statements of prophets are prophecies. Yeah, Who it's clear. Prophets are prophecies. I didn't say no, no, no. no, no There's no, no. a difference. Are I don't, are I don't prophecies. think any prophet. Wait a minute, no, Ahmed. No, no, not, true, I don't think any prophet says, okay, I'm now going to make a prophecy. And are this is the prophecy. All, are all statements of 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 of, of a prophet a prophecy? Let yes, let brother Muhammad Imtiaz answer no, no, that. No, no, you but made a statement, brother Hashim. I made Imtia, but he made the same yeah. statement. He said he's already said I that before. Know. So I let know. let brother Muhammad Imtiaz answer that. Yeah, go ahead. So, inshallah, uh, this is the last time. Inshallah, I'm just gonna say on this prophecy because then we have to move on. We already more than one hour into the yeah. stream. We're only discussing the first point. So, brothers, inshallah, this is summary from my side. and please i want listener to understand and to listen this summary inshallah in 2 minutes and then decide that who was hiding and what not okay point mm-hmm. number 1 mm-hmm. brother ahmed is again and again from the get going he's saying <coughs> it is not a prophecy i want audience to please listen again when a prophet is making a statement 
and in that statement he is saying something about the future what is it number one number two in this one it is not that mirza is making a statement only please understand that how important is it is he is saying that according to hadith please think about this he is saying according to hadith masih maud after he will be appointed as masih maud and will he will come second time he will complete 40 years it is not just a statement of mirza sahib himself according to mirza sahib it is a hadith as well okay and if this statement is something about the future everybody knows if a statement coming from a prophet we say something about the future this is exactly what is called prophecy okay and last point is okay. everybody everybody can see here in in this last rebuttal brother ahmed was saying that even the prophets can make mistakes in interpreting the prophecies or the statement now hang on a second we are not going to discuss any prophets we are not going to discuss <laughs> anything we are going to stick with this one actually ahmed has conceded please note the point ahmed has conceded that mirza sahib made the mistake that's why he wanted to bring the other prophets to hide mirza mistake brothers wallahi sometimes the ahmadis they say to us oh why you, we have to be emotional in this case is brothers when you are trying to defend your prophet maaz allah maaz allah by throwing all the prophet under the bus is the, is that fair my brother people can see people can listen you already conceded but you don't have the courage you don't have the courage to say that the primary meaning was not fulfilled number 1 and number 2 i yeah. challenge you i challenge you you cannot give a secondary meaning to this prophecy which is within the text within the scope of the text my brother you may be thinking i'm just first time here i am reading this topic for years okay mm-hmm. i have in front of me how ahmadiyya has given secondary meaning i wish i wish you would have bring those secondary meaning so people can see that how you take those secondary meaning which have no basis in the text okay my brother i i'm 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 Sorry, ending before this before adnan comes in yeah. i just want brother imtiaz to repeat the prophecy once again yeah. for our yeah. audience to make sure yeah. this is not just some nilly willy statement somebody made yeah. it is something yeah. which is with assertion so yeah. just yeah. please repeat it in urdu and also yeah. in english inshallah okay no problem so my brothers uh, there are many references for this prophecy i quoted two of them one of them i quoted which is which is the primary quotation for this case and that is in ruhani khazain volume 17 page number 311 and this book is called in urdu tohfa golardiya okay in urdu mirza saab right masih e maud daave ke baad 40 saal zinda rahega hadith sirf हदीस से सिर्फ इसी कदर मालूम होता है कि मसीह मऊद अपने दावे के बाद 40 बरस दुनिया में रहेगा मिर्जा साहब इज सेइंग दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू हदीस व्हेन द प्रॉमिस मसाया विल कम एंड व्हेन ही विल मेक हिज क्लेम ऑफ मसायाशिप आफ्टर दैट ही विल लिव इन दिस दुनिया फॉर 40 इयर्स एंड इन दिस स्टेटमेंट मिर्जा साहब इज नॉट ओनली मेकिंग अ स्टेटमेंट ही इज सेइंग इट इज अ हदीस okay that's point number 1 point number 2 is we have references multiple references for example mirza sahib has said in 1905 to 1907 because the book is called burahin volume 5 and this was written between 1905 to 1907 in this book mirza sahib said that my mission has been out there for 25 years and in 1908 mirza sahib died so clearly mirza sahib said that the hadith says that the masih will remain in this dunya for his mission for 40 years and then he himself said that i have completed 25 years in 1907 and then he died next year so he clearly did not fulfill this sign please understand the point this is a sign mirza sahib is quoting i will repeat and this sign is not completed so now the you I only have two options you only have two options option number 1 please maaz allah maaz allah prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said and something did not fulfill we cannot believe this the second option is mirza sahib gave this sign sign did not complete so 
he is not a messiah okay so to summarize what brother inter <coughs> said already that mirza ghulam ahmed qadiani said in 1907 that my mission has been around for 25 years and he himself quote, quoted the hadith <coughs> saying that the promised messiah which he claimed to be himself here from the promised messiah we understand mirza to be claiming himself to be the promised messiah so he's saying the promised messiah after his advent will remain alive for 40 years according to the hadith he quotes the hadith in this support in 1907 he acknowledges that my mission has been going for 25 years and then he dies in 1908 the next year that makes his mission 26 years that means mirza is a liar that means mirza was 14 years short of his own prophecy which he used a hadith for uh, for, for support okay for which he used a hadith to support uh, his prophecy so mirza was for 14 years one four 14 years short of the prophecy therefore he was a liar now it doesn't stop there i want to quickly move on because ahmad is clearly not paying attention and he's not going to concede he's not going to say uh it's that been like 20 indeed, minutes 20 one minutes second, or so one second. no problem <laughs> this is not a debate this is not a debate great Don't courtesy, great courtesy and respect. We, we, well done. We, of course of course remember the other day on the stream five of you were speaking for 20 30 minutes 20 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes and i was listening patiently taking notes oh, we didn't give Take you two minutes now. We but gave you, we gave you 10 minutes to five to ten minutes to speak. But 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 this is not a Be stream. Oh, well, yeah, that stream, Ahmed, that stream was specifically de dedicated to this Ajis, this miskin. You were challenging me by name on Twitter and elsewhere. You were sending out shots at me, saying, "Where Who's are you, you, coward? Where Who's are you?" you? Listen, Ahmed, listen, Ahmed, listen, Wasn't Ahmed, listen. Me? Mute him. Me? Hashim, mute him, please. Hashim, Stop mute him, please. Now. Is, is getting emotional, is getting emotional. Ahmed, you and your company, five of you, were sending shots at me, challenging me, where are you, Adnan Rashid, the coward, where are you? So I was talking to five people, and you were talking for nearly 10, 15 minutes uh, each time, and then I was taking notes and responding patiently. So in that light, we should proceed. Now, very quickly, I want to raise a very, very important point. Before you come in, okay, Mtiaz Bhai, go ahead. Uh, I just, just for the sake of the record of this stream, I want to make it very clear. Because Brother Ahmed was giving this impression that maybe there are other revelations on the topic of that Messiah will complete 40 years and we did not quote this. I challenge any Ahmadi brother can come even now. They, we have not hidden any of those. There is no revelation on this topic. These were the only revelations he mentioned that he will complete 40 years. And everybody can see. And 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 by the, and by the way, in all honesty, in all honesty, our topic has completed. Okay, we don't need to even move forward because Mirza Sahib said exactly. it's one of my sign. One of my sign is not proven to be true. I am a liar, and my claim is finished. Okay, now everybody Absolutely. can see. They can watch this last one hour. We have already established that this sign was not fulfilled. And no secondary meaning has ever been given to this sign, which is within the scope of the text. Because you can give any meaning. It has to be within the scope of interpretation. Okay. So, uh, I want to move on from this very quickly. And yeah. I want to give uh, a chance to other Ahmadis who may not be as agenda-driven as Ahmad was. So, before uh, I do that, I want to put my case systematically in front of the Ahmadi community. They don't know the avalanche we have. They don't know. Okay, let me present my case very quickly. Okay, prophecy about his age. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani writes about his own age. Okay, in his book, uh, Dafal Waswas, page 288. He writes, God has commanded that not only the people of this generation should be benefited by the words of my prophecies, but also that the people of future generations should be provided with a great sign, such as you will be 80 years of age, a few years more or few less than that. This is what he says. 
But hold on a second. There is trickery in the words of this prophecy. For it sets no definite age limit and is open to both ends, like Ahmad has been playing games. In another prophecy, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is more definite about his age. And he goes as follows. The words of the prophecy promise that my age will be between 74 years and 86 years. This is taken from Mirza's book, Burhan al-Ahmadiyya, volume 5, page 97. We're giving references step by step, systematically. We are giving references so that no Ahmadi can claim that we are making these things up. Okay, we're not just a bunch of fools who are going to reject someone who's truthful, or we're not going to attack an innocent person of uh, lying. We're not going to accuse an innocent person of lying. We have evidence, black and white evidence of his lies. And keep following me. This is going to be slightly long, about three minutes, but please follow, paying attention. Pay attention, everyone. Ahmadis and non Ahmadis, pay attention. So he said, the words of the prophecy promise that my age will be between 74 years and 86 years. From the combination of these two prophecies, it is evident that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad should have died within these two limits, 74 and 86. He died, in fact, at the age of 69. Even this claim of Mirza in Burhan al Ahmadiyya was not fulfilled. This is actually a prophecy because he himself uses the word prophecy. And I repeat again, the words of the prophecy promise that my age will be between 74 years and 86. And we know Mirza died at 69. According to most records, including records put down by his own sons, and his first Khalifa, Hakim Nuruddin, they testified that Mirza was born in 1839. Okay, Mirza himself gave his age in a court case, as we will see in due course. Okay, so if he was born in 1839 and he died in 1908, that makes him 69 years old. And according to his own prophecy, he said that I will die between 74 years and 86 years. That makes him a liar. This is another gift for the Ahmadi missionaries like Ahmad. Before I proceed, I would like Ahmad to come in and comment, comment specifically on this prophecy, which is more specific. Because before that, Ahmad was playing games. Ahmad was saying, oh, he said 80, more or less 80, more or less 80, possibly a bit more or a bit less. But in this prophecy, Mirza was very, very specific. I will die between the age of 74 and 86. Okay? He died at 69. Over to you, Ahmad. Two minutes. Okay. So, Ahmad, this is your last uh, last say, basically. I'm going to bring in another copy okay, after you. this. So, okay. please. Because so it's been like more than I, I, one hour, yeah, 20 minutes. Fine. So, I didn't have Nishani Asmani open in front of me. I've, um, while they were speaking for 25 minutes or so, I try, I opened in front of me. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says in Urdu, Yani is rose se jo wo imam mulhim ho kar apne tayi zahir karega. That, us, that from that day when that person would, would present himself as someone who receives revelation. Okay? Chalis baras tak zindagi karega. Okay? Now, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right, received in, in, in uh, his, his revelation in about 1860s, and I'm going to give you the exact date here. So, so based on that, he fulfills the criterion that you're, you're men mentioning. Because the point that's being men mentioned here, in Isroz Jovo Imam Mulhim Mokar Apne Tain Zahir Karega, Chalis Barak Tak Zindagi Karega, a Vazir Heke Yajas Apni Umar Ke Chalis Me Bars Me Dawate Hakke Liye Bail Ham Khas Mamur Kiya Gaya, or Bashara Di Gai Ke Asi Baras Tak Ya Uske Kareeb Tari Umar Hai. So it's, 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 it's a long reference. But the point is, and I'm, I'm, although this is my last time, I know you want to take other people, specifically and generally with regards to the age of the Promised Messiah, till today in the community there is ikhtilaf on the day the Promised, uh, you know, I mean, there, there, there's differences of opinion with regards to research about the Promised Messiah's birthday. And they know that, right? 
just as there is ikhtilaf and and you know on the birthday of the holy prophet peace be upon him as 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 well okay so so this is you know and and there's a whole research where 1835 is mentioned 1837 is mentioned and there are numerous other things uh, you know other dates are mentioned but the point that that I'm trying to make here is is that the specifically to choose this revelation about which they know that the person's birthday is not even fully known it wasn't written down tells you that there's already ambiguity about his date of birth okay and and to choose that specifically is to confuse the conversation and take take it away from all of those other prophecies which have been fulfilled to the word to the word and this is this is exactly the case with you know uh, the the opponents of islam as well but if you want to go into the detail of of the specific prophecy with uh, you know we, uh, with 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 the regards to his date then there, there there has to be a proper format and and we welcome you and we can dis- discuss that in detail but the point is why is it the case and the question is that you deliberately choose something up and you know that his his birthday is something that is 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 it wasn't written down when he was born right and you know there are several opinions on that all right thank you ahmed um, jazakallah khair uh, we are going to bring in another qadiani but uh, jazakallah khair for your time thank you so much thank you very much